to my video where I'm going to show you how I paint a wooden Easter egg. This egg has a flat bottom in which it can stand up on its own on a table or any surface and not roll around. And I'm using a Hansa yellow, which is bright, and a yellow iron oxide. Now my goal is to create a very rich and creamy yellow background. I don't want the yellows to be intense. I want them to be some uh, light and a really rich look. I'm going, and then I'm going to place a um, red tulips on top of this background. Now I think it's time uh, to begin putting some white into this because that yellow is pretty intense. I think of it as almost like a little mini abstract painting, creating layer upon layer of color, adding white, uh, you know, and, and so that the surface of the egg is not a solid color, but is more variated with the yellows and the whites. I really enjoy that look. And then the red of the tulips will really pop out on a lighter background. Now that I have most of the egg uh, painted the way that I'd like it, I'm going to lightly draw a simple design on here on, on the egg. And I just use the pencil. Now that, actually the pencil on this acrylic paint is not, it doesn't show up so well because the surface is very slick with that acrylic paint. And I just get that design on there. It's just a road map to show me where to go when I put the flowers on. Now there you can see, uh, see it a little bit better. It's a very simple drawing of where I want to place the tulips. And next I'm going to get the um, red paint. Now this is a high flow acrylic. It's very liquid. This is the red light and a little bit goes a long way actually. And I'm going to use a very thin brush of course on here. And my tulip really is just like three prongs. Like a pitchfork I guess. And I'm just going to go all the way around and put my tulips in here. Now the trick of painting these eggs is not to get your fingers on the area that you're painting. Now as I go around the, the egg with the red paint, I am pay also paying attention to the, um, the yellow. And I'm actually very pleased that I got a very variety of values of yellow. Some patches are a little bit darker and other patches are lighter because I use the white. Now you can see how that red is beginning to really pop against that yellow. By popping, I mean it's gonna stand out. Now I'm going to apply a high flow acrylic again. This is yellow green, and this is gonna become the stems of my tulips. And again, I'm gonna let the paintbrush do the work. Now I did not draw all the little leaves on. I just put the tulip and the stem on and I'm going around now with a paintbrush to put those stems and the leaves and also right under the tulip I'm going to put a little bit of green just to make a nice transition from the red to the green. You know each year I uh, paint these Easter eggs and I always challenge myself to come up with at least six new designs and uh, it's amazing how uh, <laughs> one can do that. I, I generally really love flowers so I always make a couple flowers. I'm into birds. I study about birds. I have a bird and so there's always a bird or two hanging around on the eggs and um, then I also offer some religious symbols on the eggs. There's usually a few crosses, uh, sometimes an alpha and an omega. So that's how I come up with my designs. And it usually takes me at least two or three eggs to kind of work out each design. So it is kind of a long process. But once you got it, you're ready to go and it works out. Now that I have the 
tulips on the egg, I'm going to mix up some pink here and put three lines on each tulip, just giving it a little more detail and variety in that color. The red is, is you know, is very bold. This just tones it down a little bit. And I'm going to go around and do that to each egg. Now I'm thinking about the space in between the tulips. I'm going to put some pattern in there. I want to fill up the space to make the egg look very rich in design and in pattern. So I'm going to add a little orange teardrop here. And then of course I'm going to have to fill the teardrop up with some kind of pattern. And I'm thinking about perhaps using some gold in there to just give it a little bit of sparkle. And then of course I'll have to fill in, put something on top of the gold. I just love pattern and I think it adds a lot of richness to any design. And that's just me. I just like that. It gives my eyes something to really look for and I enjoy it. Now that the egg is completely painted, there it is, I'm going to uh, take an eraser and those lines that I put on with the pencil, some of them are still showing. So I want to make sure that I clean all of that up just because it helps the tulips, you know, if they're around the tulips, it makes the edge kind of fuzzy. Now that is the polyurethane that I'm going to use and it's a, a high gloss polyurethane and I generally put two coats of that on the egg and it really brings out the color a lot. So I'll let that one dry and then I just because I, I use these brown Teflon papers there and I think the egg is going to show up a little better on a white surface. So I want you to see these are a lot of the eggs that I've already completed for this year of the tulip design and they 
They look kind of cool on the white, so I thought you would enjoy that. We'll let the one that I just finished dry up on top there. I can't reproduce them exactly, so each one is unique. Uh, the designs are similar, so you can see their difference here between them. So in other words, if you purchase one of these, you're getting a real, one-of-a-kind Easter egg. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can find all of the 2021 Easter egg designs at my website, Urban Pastures Art. Again, I thank you for taking time to watch this short video on how I paint the Easter eggs. Have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next video.